salute to hoops guys we are at my local walmart and as you can see there are some cards here we got some tops baseball and some allen and ginter but overall shelves are looking pretty bare with no other sports in sight uh there was some ultra pro supplies uh these rigid card holders i've never seen those there before more of a regular top holder kind of guy so i left those got some graded card sleeves here the 500 count of penny sleeves is always nice and then at the bottom here, I found these Platinum Series penny sleeves, which I found interesting. Never seen those there before either. So I decided we're going to get both of these uh, and see what the Platinum Series is all about here. Let's head out to the checkout, and I will see you guys in the next portion of the video. Salute to Hoops guys, welcome back to the channel, another day, another video, another day in the crazy world of sports card collecting. Uh, before we get into the second half of this video, I just want to thank everyone for the support on the channel. Uh, we are at 339 subscribers on the Salute Hoops channel, uh, which is amazing. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I don't know if we'll get to 500 by the end of the year, uh, but I think 400 is a uh, is definitely a feasible feasible goal so if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel uh, if you like the video go ahead and like it really helps with the algorithm i didn't realize how much likes on these things help so much uh but uh from the videos that i've watched uh, apparently helps you with the youtube algorithm which does not like uh small time <laughs> small time channels by any means so if you help me out with a like that'd be great too really greatly appreciate that let's go ahead and set the mood for the rest of the video boom all right, so you guys saw that I was at Walmart. I went on Friday uh, just to see if I could at least spot some sort of retail in the wild. That's I've heard that Friday is when that Walmart is supposed to uh, restock. But as you can see, there really wasn't much there. There was some baseball in the Allen and Ginter, but um, we all know where the basketball goes, and that is straight out the back door. So didn't get any of that, unfortunately. Uh, but I did find some some sleeves, which is always nice. Uh, and this is my first time actually seeing these like Platinum Series Ultra Pro ones. Uh, and they also had just the regular ones. So we had the 500 pack of the regular card sleeves. And then uh, we're hitting Desmond Mason there. And then we have these Platinum Series ones, which just come with the 100 card protectors. So uh, I was interested to see what the difference was. Uh, there is de a definite price difference. You can get 500 of these regular ones uh, for $5.98, I believe is what they ring up. And then these uh, 100 pack of the Platinum Series uh, are $8.98, so $9. And then you have your tax in there. So uh, $9 for 100 or 6 bucks for 500 So I got them. I wanted to see what the difference was between the two. So that's what we are going to do in this video. Now, I looked up the uh, like the just the product description on Ultra Pro's website, and apparently, uh, these platinum ones are the same ones that are used in like the card sleeves for binders. It's the same material. It says uh, this is directly from their their website here. Introducing the new platinum series card protectors made from the same hobby exclusive material as our iconic platinum nine page pocket pages. A little little mix up there. Sorry. Uh, these sleeves provide the most pristine clarity of any sports sleeves ever offered. Platinum Series card protector will be the benchmark for the future of sports card sleeves. And then it goes on to tell you what it's made of. Okay, perfect. So I have an open packet of Ultra Pro, so I don't have to open up the brand new 500 page one, but... Uh, we're just going to see what the heck, if there really is like a visual, visible difference, uh, feeling wise. So let's go ahead and open this here. Might turn into, okay. All right. It's definitely, definitely thicker than the regular ones. 
definitely a lot more protection there. I just don't know. Okay, so definitely a little less flimsy. They say that these are more clear than these these older ones. They're I guess the other ones. So the smaller pack uh, of the Ultra Pro ones, I think were like two ninety eight or something like that. Maybe one ninety eight at Walmart. So we're just gonna take some just some normal regular NBA hoops cards here. All right, so this is gonna be just the old school regular Ultra Pro. Protected, you know. A little hard to slip in there. All right, yeah. So there is a little bit more protection here with the new, with the platinum version. Uh, but I don't know. I'm just not too sure if if people in the hobby are gonna really honestly care uh, because obviously you know your card sleeve typically goes into a. Um, Oh, and, well, there's our kitten, all right. <laughs> Maui has made an appearance. Give me one second here, guys. All right, guys, we are back, sorry. We do have a kitten here. Uh, she's quite rambunctious, and she loves the card table, so I, I can't blame her for loving the cards. But getting back to it, uh, I don't want to call this like a like a money grab, from Ultra Pro or anything like that, but uh, I mean they are a huge company, so they probably know exactly what they're doing. But I personally don't see myself spending nine bucks for a hundred pack of card sleeves when I can spend six dollars and get the five hundred pack uh, when the card is just going to go in a top loader anyway. That's just uh, I guess my opinion. It depends on the collector you are. I know some guys. I have back like to sleeve all their cards, uh, but even then, um, I think that it would kind of be it wouldn't make sense economically to buy less card less card sleeves for more money. If that's what <clears throat> if that's what you're doing, uh, that's just I guess my opinion. So that concludes the video, guys. Short, sweet, to the point. Thought I'd get it out there. Uh, if you have a difference of opinion on this, you guys can let me know in the comments. Would you spend uh, less, sorry, would you spend more money for less of the product, but a slightly better quality? Or would you go with uh, spending less money, but getting uh, more of a quantity over quality type deal? Uh, Ultra Pro, the regular ones have never really done me wrong. Um, so I'm more so leaning towards uh, just sticking with the regular card sleeves to be honest with you let me know in the comments guys hope this was a educational type video maybe is what we can call it hobby education um and i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching thanks for the support and i will see you guys on the next one take it easy